Hi again, everyone. I'm Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here this morning with the books that I'm planning on reading in April. This month is the Magical Readathon, um, the first leg of it. And so I've done like the last two things, um, the last two readathon thingies that she's put together in this. Um, this is G from Book Roast. Uh, I'll leave a link to the announcement for this if you'd like to learn more about it. But basically she's created this very um, extensive detailed world where this readathon takes place and the first part of it um, was like this path that you have to take to get to the academy because it's like an academic themed readathon like magical academia. Now we're picking the sort of uh, career that we're going to go into and depending on what you pick there are different um, classes that you would take and each one is like a prompt and then of course you pick a book for each prompt and so I've chosen to be a demonologist because how fun and there are six books that I need to read for that so I've got six of those and then a couple extras for other things this month. So I'm going to go through the books that I'm reading for that first and then I'll get to the other stuff. First, the first prompt that I needed to fulfill for the Magical Readathon was to read a book under 100 pages and I chose for that The Tent by Keelan Patrick Burke, of course, the king of the horror novella. Uh, this is, I don't know, like 60 pages. Um, my friend got this for me for my birthday a couple years ago and I haven't read it so, um, I'm excited to finally get to it. It's just going to be short and sweet, stress-free, just a little spooky story to start me out. The next prompt is to read a book with a clawed creature on the cover. And for this, I chose Below by Laurel Hightower. And of course, our little Mothman on the cover, you can't really tell if he has claws or not, but I feel like Mothman would have claws, right? I mean, he's got to have something to grip because he... I don't know, does Mothman have legs or does he have like talons? I always imagined him to be a clawed creature. My Mothman has claws. Hashtag my Mothman has claws. Um, anyway, so this is a Mothman story and I don't need to hear anything else about it. Um, I pre-ordered it. It has not come yet. I believe it's been shipped, but the release date was just like last week, I think. So uh, yeah. That's it. The next prompt was to read a short story or uh, I think a poem or something like that, a book from a collection. And I think it just meant like one single short story. However, I'm just going to read a collection because I can't see myself just, um, I don't know. I would feel like I left something unfinished if I didn't read the whole thing. But I found this book, I think last year, this is Unspeakable Acts, which is edited by Sarah Weinman. And this is just a collection of different articles and things that um, like journalists and true crime writers have, have written up. And I'm gonna read it for this prompt. The next prompt was to read a book with a source of light on the cover. And she said anything that would generate any type of light, like a sun, a moon, um, any reflected surface, I guess, like a lantern or a fire. And <laughs> this might be uh, stretching it a little bit, but for this, I picked Conqueror Worms by Brian Keene, which is one of my five star prediction books. And I figured like there are buildings on the cover and inside those buildings, there are probably electric light bulbs, right? So that is a source of light. And that's what I chose. This is about um, this rain that Earth gets, that the United States gets. It's just so rainy that um, all of a sudden these giant worms pop out of the ground. And this is one I've been really excited to pick up and I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, this next one I anticipate being not a really fun read, um, but the prompt was to read a book with shadow in the title and this is The Long Shadow of Small Ghosts by Laura Tillman and this is a, another true crime book. I'm reading quite a few of those this month actually. Um, this is about a mother and father who kill their children and so the author gets into uh, why this happened, how this happened, and I believe some history or not necessarily history but um, just a look at the 
city that they live in. So I'm sure that ties into the story somehow. Um, short, short, quick. I've heard that this is um, a really sad book and it's been on my shelf for a long time. So I'm going to pick it up this month. The last prompt that I had to fulfill this month is to read a book that is inspired by mythology. And luckily I had this beautiful book that I got from Fairy Loot last month. This is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. And this is, let's see, um, it's inspired by the legend of Chang Yi, the Moon Goddess, which is from Chinese mythology. So perfect. Um, this is about a daughter who's trying to save her mother and it really, um, it kind of reminds me of Kubo and the Two, is it Two Strings? Kubo and the Two Strings? Have you guys seen that? It's a really great movie. I can't think it's two strings. I'm gonna feel really foolish if it's not. Um, but in that book, it's a little boy who has to protect his mother and um, kind of find out like the secrets of his family and stuff like that. And um, this seems like it might be similar, have similar themes maybe. So um, this is just, it's just really a beautiful book and maybe bring some lightness to my reading because I'm reading a lot of Oh, books that might be sad this month or creepy. So maybe that will lighten things up. Okay, so I've got a couple other books here and not here, but um, here in spirit with us. So I've also got uh, an arc of Black Tide by Casey Jones that I'm going to read this month. I'm just going to, let's see, read the synopsis. It says, it was just another day at the beach and then the world ended. Mike and Beth didn't know each other existed before the night of the meteor shower. A melancholy film producer and a house sitter barely, barely scraping by, chance made them neighbors, a bottle of champagne brought them together and a shared need for human connection sparked something more. After a drunken and desperate one night stand, the two strangers awake to discover a surprise astronomical event has left widespread destruction in its wake. Yada, 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 an end of the world story. I love those. This one sounds like it's going to be interesting. So um, I have that arc up on deck. I also whoa, um, received an arc of Unmasked by Paul Ho. I also received an arc of Unmasked by Paul Holes. I keep, um, I don't know, my mouth's just not working today. So um, he was a cold case investigator and I don't know, a cop at some point in his life. And now he's reflecting on that. And I'm sure some of the um, cases that he's worked on, I know in particular he worked on, I think the Lacey Peterson case. I know for sure he worked on the Joseph D'Angelo case who was um, the Golden State Killer and things like that. So. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what to expect from this, but um, I'm going into it with an open mind. And finally, this is Sundial by Catriona Ward. This came out last month, I believe, but I'm going to read it this month and hopefully um, it will be stellar and I'll be able to do an amazing review on it. This is about a mother and a daughter. And I think, you know, there's other families, the other family members, but um, this focuses on the mother and the daughter in this family and they go back to the place where the mother was raised because she sees something in her daughter that uh, reminds her of her past, something that she experienced in her past, I think. So she goes back to the desert and um, only one of them will survive. It seems like whatever is going on here. Um, so. <laughs> I'm really interested in what this book has to offer and I'm hoping it really wows me like the last house on need the street did which was um, her previous release that came out last year that I thought was really kind of brilliant honestly so I, I hope I'm not um, putting too much into this I hope I'm not putting all my eggs into this book's basket because what if this book drops my basket of eggs I'm just sad so um, hopefully it's good. I'm hoping. I'm, oof, I'm, I have to temper it down a, a little bit, I think. All right, well, those are the things that I have planned for April. I can't believe it's April already. That makes me anxious. 
Uh, anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I'd love to hear what you guys are up to this month, what you're reading, what you're planning on doing. Um, if you're doing the magical readathon, I'd love to know what um, career path you've chosen because there's so many uh, really interesting ones that um, G has created. She's just, she's got a really interesting mind, I think. So that's what I have planned. Like I said, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye.